What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another Stream Elements tutorial. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about how to add text. As you can see here, I have just a regular standard non-moving text and then I also have with the text scrolling. So you do all of this inside of the Stream Elements editor. So let's go ahead and jump over there and I'll show you how to customize everything and do something like this. All right, so inside the editor, we're going to go down here to the plus, click on that, and we're going to go to static and custom, and you're going to see text, add a text box. It's going to bring something up here on the top left. We're going to bring that down just so that way we can see it a little bit better. And then over here on the left hand side, you're going to have your different settings. So you can give it the message that you want. So we're just going to leave it as what it says here, but you can go and change this message to whatever you want it to say. Inside of the position, size, and style, this is where you'll be able to kind of mess with the overall width, height, and top and left position, stuff like that. You can rotate it if you want to. So you can have it rotated 90, 180, or 270. You can also mess with the opacity, which will make it more see-through if you need to, the more that you drag this slider down. So 100% means it's going to be full of color. Bringing it down will make it look a little bit more faded. So now when we go into the actual text settings, Inside the text tab here, you'll be able to choose a different type of font. You can choose the color for the font. You can also use custom. And then if you have a custom font, you can find that custom font here. And then you'll be able to adjust the size. So we'll be able to increase that like that. And you can also mess with the line height too. So if you wanted to do something like that for the line height, you could. For dynamic fonts, you can also select that. And then you can do the space lettering if you wanted to. Kind of give them a little bit more of a stretch you could do word spacing if you want to do something like that to space those out for the words you can also do different positionings for it you can set it for bold italic you can put an underline to it and you can kind of add these different things here these are indentations for your for the font weight you can choose it to be lighter if you wanted it to be you can also have it at a certain type Or you can just leave it as normal for the actual text itself, but I like to keep it as bold. You can even add a text stroke if you want to. So if we increase this up a little bit and then we'll change the color. Let's just make it like a black so you can see it probably a little bit better. Let's go back into there. And we'll just increase this. And as you can see, the more that I increase it, it's going to give a nice little outline on it. And you can change that color for whatever you want it to be. You can add a text shadow if you want to, or you can just get rid of a text shadow. It's up to you. But as you can see, when I get rid of it, it's pretty flat and plain. Text shadow just kind of makes it pop a little bit more. Now, if you're wanting to actually have the text scroll, you can select this little button here, and then it's going to start to scroll. You can choose if you wanted to scroll from going scrolling up, scrolling down, left or right. And then you can increase the speed. So the more that you increase the speed, the faster it's going to go. And then of course, the slower you set it, the slower it's going to be. And that is pretty much how you set up all the text. Now to bring that into your encoder, whether it's OBS, Studio, Streamlabs, OBS, XSplit, whatever, what we're going to do is click on save. We're going to click on the little link chain here. That's going to copy it for us. And we're going to go back into the encoder. As you can see, it's already been kind of messed with, but I'm going to go ahead and delete this. And we'll start fresh. So we'll click on the plus under sources, go to browser source, add source, give it a name. And we're just going to do a simple control V as in Victor to paste it in. And then we're going to hit done. And you're going to see it right there. Give it a moment and then it will start to do the scroll. And then if you need to make any changes, just go back into the editor, make your changes here, save it, and then it's going to be able to uh, then to make those changes for you. But yeah, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. If you're enjoying videos like this, be sure to check out the channel. I have a bunch of other videos similar to this for many different things when it comes to streaming. And if you do subscribe, make sure you click on the bell icon and that way you can get notified every time I upload a new video. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Take care.